Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Wednesday. We need to start looking ahead towards the weekend, towards Weekend League Rewards, which will be coming out on Thursday, and talk about a few things on the market this week related to Thursday flipping, because that's something that we do every week on FIFA Ultimate Team, getting some cards to flip for Thursdays that will link to Team of the Weeks, or right now at this period of time when we're in team of the season looking at some cards that might link to other team of the season cards and we're going to look at bundesliga cards in general this week and that's really what i'm going to focus on with you guys is focusing on some bundesliga cards that are going to link to these tots cards that people will be packing from foot champs rewards and as well as looking at some cards from other leagues as well and maybe starting our investing for the next league la liga looking at some of those cards early on because I want to look at a couple cards today that have risen so much throughout the course of this week and their cheapest points last week were on Wednesday and Thursday. So I want to take a look at some of those cards. But first off, in order to know what we want to invest in, we need to think about these foot champions rewards. Now they're going to be the same as last week as the Premier League. There's going to be a lot of people that are packing the player picks for the Bundesliga packing a lot of these cards during rewards. Now, last week, the entire side of the Premier League team of the season went shooting up, except for those lower rated guys that a lot of people packed, um, that were being packed plentifully um, on Thursday rewards. And I think the same thing is gonna happen this week, but instead of last week having as much demand, I think you're gonna have a little bit less demand this week, um, but you're gonna have more demand on some other certain cards. Now, if we look at this team, you guys can probably guess this just as well as I can. Who are people going to pack a lot of out of their weekend league picks? They're going to get Campbell, Summer, Cruz, Schultz, Volland, Kostic, Halstenberg, Trap. You know, those are the types of guys that a lot of people are going to get out of their player picks. But those aren't the people that everybody wants. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, investing in these Tots cards, or just if you want one for your team, Pick them up today. Pick them up before Weekend League Rewards. Wait to see if there is any type of a sell-off or some panic uh, before then. Because today, um, after the guaranteed SBC, a couple cards rebounded, but most of them stayed the same. DaCosta went up 40k. Brant went up a bunch. He went up about 100,000 coins. And so did Nabry. He went up about 100,000 coins as well. But a lot of the top tier cards didn't really move much. Um, because I think after last week... People bought them this morning. They were thinking that, okay, they're going to get panic sold this morning, which they did dip down, but and they did push up a bit afterwards. Um, but I think a lot more people were educated this week on the rises and the falls of these cards, but these cards aren't done rising yet. I still think 460,000 coins for this Nabry card is decently cheap. Um, I think that card will easily be 500k come the weekend just because the lack of the right wings in the Bundesliga available on the market. Now that's a key thing I do want to point out. Obviously we had the Robin SBC which a lot of people were interested in and we do have a couple other cards, the Inform Nabries and stuff, um, but this card is by far the best value for money and it's way above the, the other right wings, right mids in the Bundesliga. So I do think this card will get picked up a lot more as well as the Brandt. I think this Brandt card is going to shoot up and DaCosta. So if you want to get any of those guys, any of the top tier meta Bundesliga guys, if you want them in your team for this weekend, I would pick them up here in the next you know, day or so before rewards come out, just so that you're playing it safe in that regard, because I do think they will push up. But that's also going to mean that when people open the rewards this week, they're going to be getting like these guys down here. So obviously people are going to go out and they're going to want to buy some of these cards with their coins that they have. If you pack in, let's say you get gold, and you, or let's say you get Elite and you get one of those premium Bundesliga Tots players packs and you get Voland, Schultz, and Kroos. Well, you just made like 500,000 coins, 550K on that pack. You're going to be able to go out and buy yourself the Nabry or the Witzel that you want to put in your team. Now this week, I do want to speak about how I think there's going to be a lot of... Um, people making hybrid squads. And that's why this week when we look at certain investments, I'm really looking at the green link investments um, that link to the TOTS cards that people are gonna be pulling from the rewards. 
Um, and I do think some of these prem tots have uh, another chance to go back up in price as well. Some of them have kind of dipped back down. But I think a lot of people this week are going to, you know, make one side be prem and one side be Bundesliga because a lot of people are going to have untradeable cards again this week from the team of the season picks and from weekend league rewards that they're going to go out and try to maybe make some sort of uh, hybrid team. And I think that's the best way to, to invest in this week is to really look at those green links. Now, I have a couple cards pulled up over here in Footbin that I want to look at especially just because they provide really good links and they're in weak areas in this Bundesliga Tots team where you need a link if you want to put some cards together. So Pulisic at 130,000 coins, um, he was a little bit lower than that on the drop on Friday. I remember seeing him at 120, and that was very cheap for his card. But for right mids in the Bundesliga, other than that new Nabry card, there's not a ton of options out there on the market. So this Perisic at 130,000 coins looks very good to me. If you can pick a couple of these up, I think this is a good shout for a rise because he's rare, he's a really good card, and he's a cheaper option for people. Let's say you pack a Witzel. Um, one easy way to link that Witzel card at center mid is going to be linking him to like a right back Hakimi and then a right wing Pulisic um, in your team. If you can't afford the Jadon Sancho that is already a very high up in price. So Pulisic is one that I like. Don't go out and just buy Pulisic cards because I said that. You know, you can even look at his um, this road to the final version, which I think is like a basically discard value or close to it. It's up a little bit, uh, but this could be an option as well. It shows he's 18K right now on Xbox, but if you can get him for around 12, this might rise up to like 17 or 18 this weekend, 19,000 coins, just because it's a Bundesliga player and there's not a lot of right wings in this league. Now, let's look at a few more options. Um, David Alaba, David Alaba, whatever you wanna call him. This is somebody who really interests me because he has two different cards that we can look at this week, especially this card right here. The introduction of the foot, or the team of the season Goretzka card really makes me intriguing, or intrigues me to look at this card because you can now have a right back that is German and from the Bundesliga and get a strong link to Goretzka. And you can also have this right mid Alaba for squad linking with Goretzka. And even with his um, hero left back card, which is leaving packs really soon, um, that is an option as well. So Alaba looks pretty good to me uh, just because of the fact that he has got multiple cards and he's going to be able to link to a lot of these Tots players in many different ways, especially if you have that Goretzka and you, you wanna move some people around your team. Now for this Alba especially, I do like him around 180,000 coins on the Xbox. Um, and I think back here what you're seeing, this is when Lewandowski got that Team of the Week card. He had a, a higher rise than normal throughout the week. I think you're gonna see that again with this card. It's very rare, foot birthdays are rare. This card could very easily be 210K on the Xbox, 220, 230 on the PS. Um, by the end of the weekend. Now I want to talk about center backs because a lot of there are not a lot of center backs from the Bundesliga. Upamecano and Witzel. Those are whoa caps lock. Those are two of the cards that are at center back that are oh my gosh 180k. He was 100 and wow that's a huge rise. And this is what I'm going to talk about with La Liga players here in a second. But a lot of these are so, so high. Unless you see a massive sell-off today, a lot of people are already looking at these cards and people have them in their teams. If you see this get back to 150, I would be tempted to say, look at this card again. And same thing with the Upamecano. If you see his card go back to like 250 over here on the Xbox, uh, maybe like 300 or below 300 on PS, that's where I would feel comfortable with you guys maybe investing in that for a Thursday flip. But buying him right now, he's gone up so much. Yes, he could go up a little bit more, but I think that is a little bit risky on that part. So maybe stay away from the center backs. That's going to be an area where, yes, there's not a lot of supply, not a lot of players in there. Um, but, you know, you're just going to have to be careful with how you choose to invest in those cards. One that I just thought of was Matt's Hummels. And we can also look at some UCL rare cards as well because they are not dead. But it looks like he's up in price. His UCL rare card and his uh, team in the group stage versions are both very up in price, which is, uh, I would have definitely thought that was going to happen. But again, 
you're going to want to look for the green links this week. That's why I pointed out Pulisic. That's why I pointed out um, Alaba for the green links to the SBC players and to these players in Team of the Season. Now, one way where you can find easy links and go search through some more players is you can basically go over here to Footbin, search all players, and then sort by the Bundesliga League, and just scroll through here and kind of look around, see what you see. Okay, I actually saw one that, I, that interested me that I want to go back and look at. Manuel Neuer's 91 rated UCL rare card, 79,000 coins. That is really low and it hasn't moved. Now I know there are other cards that are in this team of the season that are new, but this is a card that is tried and true for a lot of people. So this could be one to watch. It hasn't moved much, but that could be something to keep on your radar just because pe people are going to pack Summer, people are going to pack Trap, but people know that Neuer is good. And FIFA Ultimate Team. Other than that, just look through here. Find some other players that are rare cards, like a the Tiago. That was an SBC. But the the Carnival Muller is interesting to me. Frank Ribery has risen up a bit, but this card kind of interests me as well. 56k. You might see this hit 70k over the weekend, just because people on lower budgets putting some squads together. That's one thing to watch as well. But so much of the Bundesliga stuff is just so very high. That's why. Be careful when you're looking around the market because you want to invest in the links, you want to invest in that kind of stuff that is Bundesliga because last week a lot of the Prem stuff went up, but there's a lot more cards in the, the Prem. <clears throat> Excuse me. There are a lot more cards in the Prem that could go up and a lot more areas to invest in. With Bundesliga, it just feels really limited to me, especially by the team of the season that we have for Bundesliga. It We have so many attacking options in this squad, like cams strikers they're all you know cruise I, I talked about this before we have so many german attackers in this team we have to really look elsewhere for link investments to this and there's not as many special cards in the bundesliga there's still not there's still some out there but not as many as the prem so if you're looking for thursday flips related to bundesliga look for the hard links the pulisic um, maybe even some gold cards maybe a gold neuer would be would be interesting but a lot of the like this Sancho card is so very expensive right now um, because his team of the season card is so high and there's a lot of hype around this league. So obviously those cards have risen a lot. Now I want to go back and talk about one thing. Now you did see me pull up the Royce card. The 92 Royce, I think it was the headliner version of that Royce card. I want to take a look at this card and show you guys the movements that it made this week. Right now it shows 620k. I doubt that's actually his price. Yeah, 575, but that is ridiculous. He was 377 on Thursday in the panic sale before this league came out. Now, on Friday, we are going to be getting the La Liga team of the season. So I'm going to go back here and change this to La Liga and start looking at a we might need to buy these cards earlier this week. People are going to start to catch on the trend as they already did with the Tots card price movements. People are going to start to catch on with this trend. Players that even get in Tots, look at what happened to Royce. His Tots card is so expensive that the same thing is going to happen this week with a lot of these cards. We have the Foot Birthday Griezmann, who is a position change card. Those position change cards like Witzel do so, so well. Last week, I flipped this card, bought it at 7 85 on rewards night sold it for 830 this weekend right here it says 935 he was not actually selling that high he comes back down he's 798 watch this card this week and watch other la liga cards you know you might be buying a bit early and these cards wouldn't be a sell right away but this is more of a pick one up throw it in your club maybe put a couple on the transfer list if you want to and these would be cards that you would sell in the next week because I mean you just look at some of the prices of these cards and how much they've dropped like next week with the um, La Liga Tots you know this guy is going to be huge for people putting teams together that are La Liga related even if he gets a Tots card I mean it's going to be very very expensive so maybe start to look at some La Liga cards um, for investing in the next week now we'll be looking at a lot of those cards on Friday as well but maybe take a look at those um, earlier this week because, I mean, you saw the rise on Neuer, or excuse me, you saw the rise on Royce, but let's look at Sancho as well because the Sancho Future Star card has risen a ton as well. This has been a cool card to trade with. Look where he was, 419,000 coins. I bought one for 409 
on Friday morning. He goes to 485, which is where he currently is now, and has a nice sell-off, but he's already back up there, and he's going to go even higher again this weekend after rewards. So you buy a 419, you chuck one in your club, you know that he's going to get a TOTS card, but you know that it's going to be very hard to pack. It's going to be very rare on the market, and boom, he shoots up because nobody can get this best version of the card, but it draws attention to him. So his card in turn goes up in price. So start to watch those investments as well this week as I'm watching this Pulisic maybe pick it up for a cheeky bid price. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Um, but watch those card prices this week. Whoa, whoa, that's a cheap one right there. 119 thank you. We'll send that to the club. And my Thursday flipping investing has begun. We're going to send that Pulisic to the club. Just, again, look around the market for Bundesliga stuff. You might see a card that just dips low. Check through Footbin, look at Bundesliga cards that you think people are going to use to link together squads this week. Uh, look at, of course, past Team of the Week cards. But nevertheless, look outside of the Bundesliga as well. Rare cards from good nations and good leagues that are easy to hybrid with um, and that are meta popular players will always rise. And sometimes those cards can take an extra hit because people are looking in other areas of the Bundesliga tots. You might be able to pick yourself up a nice deal on maybe an Mbappe or a Neymar or other Premier League players like Genduzzi or I'm just throwing out random names. Uh, but those players might drop some because all the focus is on the Bundesliga. You might find some deals on other cards in other areas. So that's one area to watch for, kind of keep your eyes peeled for and to just be mindful of this week as we go into another period of a new team of the season coming out on the weekend. A lot of hype surrounding that. Um, and of course, get on those bids tonight. Get on those uh, market checks around. Get on footbin. Look at team of the season squads uh, from older team of the seasons that have been out already. Look for team of the weeks. Look for popular meta special cards from all kinds, all shapes and colors. And of course, um, Flip those cards on Thursday after rewards for some big time profit. And then we'll be right back at it Friday morning with more panic selling pickups and the rise out of the new team of the season, which will be La Liga and the Turkish League, I do believe. So if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Good luck with your Thursday flips. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.